Hi guys. Uh, yeah, I know Ayushi is not here. Uh, the this is going to be a different video. There is no challenges. It's about giving you some information out. Uh, well, guys, uh, I have been tested COVID positive. Uh, I got tested on the uh, 18th of July, uh, and the results came on the 19th of July. Uh, it's been a week since I, uh, since I've been home quarantine right now. Uh, so this video is going to be uh, what happened to me, how, what symptoms did I get, uh, how do I think I transmitted the disease uh, and also what do I do during the whole day, how do I uh, kill my time or what do I do uh, to recover and to avoid uh, spreading the disease further to my family or to anyone else. So yeah, let's get started man. Good morning guys. Um... I just woke up and hence this whatever you're seeing um, basically it's around 8 45 in the morning and uh, I wake up at this time generally every day at least these days and um, we're gonna go freshen up and then wake this man up and take the day ahead uh, but yeah I would just like to add it's a very different kind of a video it's a day in our life and uh, a day in our life is very different at the moment. It's a very, very different scenario. And uh, we're going to take you all through what my day looks like and what Visma's day looks like separately. And um, hope you'll enjoy it and hope you'll get to see or learn a couple of things because it's just not a daily routine. It's a little different. So guys, <coughs> it is 9.45 a.m. right now and uh, Ayushi is going to come up right now to take these bottles. Uh, these bottles, in these bottles, she gives me uh, hot water and uh, uh, turmeric and lime water. Uh, so I'll just sanitize these bottles right now. I have already washed my hands. And I'm going to put these bottles outside my room where she will come and collect it wearing uh, gloves and a mask she come and take it okay guys so before i go to take the thermosis from this man there's a process which i follow i basically wear gloves because i don't want to touch anything that he has touched obviously so i wear gloves i'll wear a mask and only then will i go up to get the water bottle The next step would be that once I get the bottles down, basically I don't remove my gloves and I don't remove my mask and I wash these bottles thoroughly like with that all. So before I spill hot water into it. Wash my hands again with that all just to be pure and safe. So in one bottle, we basically give him only hot water. So we can have kada. We have a kada mix. We can have kada with. And the other bottle, I give him haldi water with lemon. So throughout the day, then we do not have to keep going up to give him water. He can have it as and when he wants. I just want to tell you what happened to me. How did I realize that I have COVID and I should take the test? Uh, well, uh, last Tuesday, the 14th of July, I got fever. Uh, and I thought this was normal fever where... Uh, you know it's climate change and I always get this fever every year where it starts raining and I, I fall ill for two, 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 two to three days uh, but this time it was different uh, 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 my fever was quite high it was constant 101, 101.5 sometimes reaching 102 uh, so uh, since it was quite high I, uh, I, I decided to take a blood test to check if I have dengue malaria so on the on the 16th of July, I went to NM Medical uh, Parel to take my test. Uh, on the next day, 17th, uh, results came. Everything was negative. Uh, there was no dengue. There was no malaria. Uh, so it was quite alarming. So my doctor advised me to take a COVID test because you know the fever wasn't going, and it it, it, it had never lasted for four days before. 
so on saturday i went uh, to nm medical marine lines to take my test on next day sunday uh, i got my result uh, and i was uh, covid positive uh, well today right now it is uh, 25th of july it is uh, saturday it has been a week now since i have been covid positive before i give this mess hot water i also make sure to drink a glass of hot water with lemon and some uh, turmeric It's 10:15 and the bottles are waiting for me outside. And it's time to have some kada in some hot water. It's time to sip on this yummy kada. Hi guys, so we've dropped off the bottles. Uh, my house help and I have dropped the bottles outside his room, where he enjoys his kada. I'm going to enjoy my turmeric water, and post this, I'm going to do some breathing exercises, which obviously we all have to do in the house to take care of our health. I do this basically to increase my lung capacity and to kind of just make the breathing a little more easier so i would recommend i would recommend this for every single person whether you have an issue or not just doing this for it literally takes 2 to 3 minutes just do it twice a day and you will feel much better now moving on to breakfast guys so uh, right now it's around uh, 10:40 uh, and it is uh, time to take my steam So, when if you if you tested COVID positive, uh, then uh, having the kada or having hot water and taking a steam at least three times a day is very 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 important. Okay. So, bye bye. So after my steam. It is now time uh, to do some uh, breathing exercises. So I have laid my mat down and I am on the floor and it is time to do some breathing exercises. Yeah. Uh, so guys uh, with uh, kada hot water and steam these breathing exercises are also very 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 important at least twice a day this is the final plate we have some moong we have kakra we have a uh, fruit apple we have one khajur and some almonds we try and give everything in a disposable plate so that we do not have to wash or touch any of the utensils again so it's a paper plate and some plastic tins which he uses and then throws away We generally send him medicines every single day from down only, so that he doesn't have to bother and see what medicine when he has to take. So we pack it in a paper like that, and she will take it with the food. So guys, it's the same process again. Uh, we'll be dropping the food outside the room, and Miss Ma will pick up the food from there. Uh, until and unless the food has not been dropped, um, he will not be opening the door. so i've got my breakfast in a uh, disposable plate disposable container i've got some fruits here and i have got my morning medicines also so guys generally when i'm doing breakfast i tend to face and him and we do breakfast together so that he doesn't feel that he's alone or he's alone stuck in a room or something like that so I just finished my breakfast. Uh, I just washed my hands with soap. I am just putting my garbage outside the room. Uh, so uh, uh, my house help will come with wearing gloves and uh, wearing a mask, and will pick up this uh, garbage and dispose it outside. And it's time to have my medicines. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to tell you what medicines I have because everyone is different. So you please consult your doctor. Uh, what medicines you all should have as per your symptoms you are getting
टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जुलाई एंड ही इज बिन इन द रूम सिंस अबाउट एटीन जुलाई ही इज फीलिंग मच बेटर सो वी आर लिटल ईज आउट एट द मोमेंट एंड दैट्स वाई वी डिसाइडेड टू फिल्म द वीडियो द फर्स्ट थ्री फोर डेज वी वर इट वॉज अ लिटल हेक्टिक वी वर स्टिल ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट द प्रोसेस एंड ही वॉज अनवेल ऑल्सो सो इवन दैट वॉज अ लिटल स्ट्रेसफुल बट नाउ ही इज फाइन सो नाउ वी काइंड ऑफ हैव गॉट द हैंग ऑफ द होल प्रोसेस सो नाउ आई डायरेक्टली सी ऑल एट लंच It's time to measure my oxygen in my body. So I I test my oxygen levels every two hours, ninety seven, which is good. So I'm going to measure my temperature now. So the temperature shows ninety uh, nine, uh, which is normal. It is time to clean the room now. So I'm going to sweep the floors and I'm going to make my bed, and then uh, maybe uh, go for a bath, wash my clothes, and dry them here. Guys, it's uh, almost uh, one o'clock. I just had a nice hot water bath. Uh, also, I uh, washed my. Uh, the dirty clothes in hot water and that all right now i've kept it for soaking uh, in this uh, tub which has hot water and that all guys i had washed my clothes and i've kept all my clothes for drying now now we're going to pack lunch for wisman so we generally try and give him a wholesome lunch there'll be like a uh, sabzi dal salad and we also pack a fruit which he can probably eat when he's hungry at around 4 4:30 okay guys this is how we take his lunch It's packed in boxes, and I have my help who's carrying the other boxes. So come with us. So guys, it's almost quarter to two. Uh, my lunch has been kept outside. Just gonna take it now. I'm done with lunch. It's time to take my uh, medicines. Also, I'm uh, in terms of water. I'm having. I have these uh, bisleri bottles in the room. So once I finish the bottles, I throw them. So there is no issue of refilling them again and again. And also, you need to have a lot and lot of water. But besides the hot water you have, uh, you need to have a lot, a lot of water uh, during uh, COVID. So yeah, turmeric, uh, lime water, and then steam. And then I think I'm going to go to sleep. Go to sleep for like till like four, four thirty, for two hours. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, it's almost uh, 4:30, 4:40. Uh, it's time to eat my fruits. So at around uh, 5:30, quarter to six, I'll get some snacks and tea to eat. And till that time, I'll be watching some TV and killing time. Yep. In the evening snack, there's some khakra and sing chutney with tea and some popcorn. Just going to give the snacks as usual with the mask. Hi guys, it's 5:30 and we just sent Vishma his snack, uh, evening snack. Uh, gently, I work out. I've been working out since a week, uh, between five to six. But today, I'm not feeling that great, and um, I have been sleeping all day. And um, yeah, so I took a break today. Um, I'll be having tea and snacks with the fam. So this is the time where we sit and chill, like between like six to six thirty. And um, yeah, so that's about it. So guys, it's six uh, ten p.m. now, and again, it's time to have my. Uh, turmeric and uh, lemon water, uh, hot water. Also, it's uh, Saturday night tonight. So normally, I uh, uh, normally in this quarantine, uh, every Saturday I've been having uh, beer or whiskey with uh, dad. 
but I can't have that now. So for so instead of beer, I'll do cheers with this. Cheers. I just downed it. It's time uh, to do some uh, breathing exercises again now. It's 6.15. Uh, 9 o'clock, it is time for dinner. They have kept my dinner outside. There is my dinner. I have a corn on toast and I have some hmm, tomato soup here. Medicines for the night. Hi guys, um, I really wanted to share what we went through as a family, what Visma must have probably gone through, I'm not sure. He might tell you all what he went through, but I wanted to share my experience about this whole COVID thing, the whole hype about it. Since about 14th or 15th July, Visma had fever. Uh, so that was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, he had a fever and the fever was always between 101, 100, 101, 101.5. So it was kind of high, but not very, very high. The fifth day, we called the doctor again and he was like, okay, fine, you know, uh, go for a CT scan because even if we do a COVID test, the result will come the next day. So it is better and in a CT scan, he'll get to know how um, intense it is or, you know, what it is exactly. And he's like, I'll be able to tell from the CT scan whether you have COVID or not. And he saw the CT scan and he's like, okay, it does look like he might have mild COVID. So I'm going to start him on medication immediately. And that time we all flipped out at home because, you know, COVID is made to seem like such a big thing and oh my god you have covid and oh my god this oh my god that on sunday morning uh Vishnu got a call from the bmc saying that okay your result is positive and uh, you have to quarantine so he's like yeah i am anyways quarantining and the health officials will call you here i want to add in a fact that i have to say that the bmc was very very efficient and i was really really surprised that it was pretty pretty uh well organized and it was quite in order so the first he gets a call from the bmc saying that okay you're positive where do you stay and how do you have space are you quarantining yourself all that they asked him then they were like you'll get a call from the health officials which he did and again they asked him a few questions of how are you feeling you know where are you staying are you quarantining this that and the other and they said that the health officials will come over and come over and check and they did we had three health officials coming over and asking us like if we were comfortable if he was staying at home or if we wanted to move him to a quarantine center or a hospital or anything but this his symptoms were pretty mild and we and that time also he had fever it wasn't like he didn't have fever but they were mild and we honestly didn't want him to go to a hospital or anything at that point in time after that we had sanitization uh, people come over where they sanitized our whole house including the room he is in and uh, made sure that every every nook and corner was sanitized and that all all this happened on a Sunday and since then Visma has been uh, in quarantine and um, like you all have seen in the video we keep dropping the food outside he takes it he put, he cleans the room he does everything on his own he's kind of living the hostel life the only fear we had was that oh shit what if our parents had contracted it because obviously they are older and um, like um, they are at a higher risk than us probably but touch wood three of us didn't have any symptoms so I would like to say that the experience was okay. It, it just seems a little overwhelming in the beginning, but as you ease in and as you, and if the patient is feeling a little better, then uh, I think automatically you, like the family and everyone starts feeling calm. Uh, I would just like to tell everyone that do not panic if you get it. it. It is like a viral infection and you just have to be careful and make sure that no one else comes in contact with him, uh, with that person who has it. But besides that, just be calm, be positive. I, I have to say that my in-laws were extremely, extremely positive. And um, could not have done it without them i would like to say that guys it seems like everyone is going to get it and uh, we just have to like kind of get through it it's not as scary as it seems just be positive and um, it will pass
it's uh, my time to go to sleep uh, i'm having my last glass of uh, kada honestly it is not so scary uh, as people think uh, you have to just be more alert and just try to be safe uh, bmc uh, does a great job uh, for that uh, uh, also guys i want to tell you that i have been getting calls each and every day from bmc asking about my health so uh, which is uh, really good as as we always say uh, be kind uh, stay healthy and spread love also like share subscribe and comment on this video Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.